Hey guys, Coach Sue here with Physique Development and today I'm going to talk about TSA. Now when traveling I get a lot of questions of how can I stay on track with food and knowing the TSA regulations can be extremely helpful with this. So a bag that you can use to bring your food is going to be a Fitmark bag. These are bags that I've had for years and years. They've held up. I haven't bought new ones in years um, and they're the best ones that I've found because I have used a few other brands here. But these Fitmark brands are going to be absolutely phenomenal. They have different sizes as you can see. They have smaller than this, bigger than this, and are going to be great to travel with all of your food. Now, when it comes to TSA, the magic thing you need to think about is three ounces and non-liquids. So you can bring any meats, anything that you want. If it's cooked, if it's raw, whatever it may be, you can bring it. I have packed chicken breasts completely cooked. I have brought sweet potatoes, rice, all of that. Um, just put it in containers, and Fitmark actually comes with their own containers, which are really great, but another great option is going to be the pride food containers and these are great because they collapse so if you have a meal in here and it doesn't fit the whole size of it you can collapse it to be the size that you need so you can stack more meals in here now what I mean by non-liquids is you can't bring something I mean anytime you go through TSA they make you empty your water bottle which is a great option to just bring a water bottle that is reusable drink it on the way to the airport it's empty as you go through TSA and then you can fill it up at the end so you're never a lack of water and it's the same way with any meal that you pack as long as it's not a liquid you're good to go now liquids are going to include things like peanut butter or yogurt um, things of that nature which are going to be more liquidy if they're not under three ounces TSA is going to take them now they don't normally take the whole bag they'll take and I've brought yogurt before where they're like you can't have that, they'll throw it away and you'll be fine with the rest of your foods. Another option to think about because you also have to think about your ice packs is an ice pack this size, this is six ounces, they will seize this um, and throw it away because they don't know exactly what you could be toting within your ice pack. And so they have special three ounces TSA approved ice packs and you can get these from multiple companies but making sure it's three ounces and you can pack as many as you want of the three ounce ones in here as long is their three ounces. So like I said, peanut butter, yogurt, those things you can't normally take because they're not under three ounces and they're liquidy. Um, so you can take that and check it in a carry-on if you would please. Um, I know I've taken things like ketchup in a carry-on before where I don't wanna go buy a ketchup bottle. But another great thing is as you travel, collecting some things that are gonna be travel friendly. So for peanut butter, you can get little to-go packets or they have the squeeze packets, which are gonna be under three ounces and gonna be something that you can travel with, with without having to buy peanut butter when you get there, getting Smucker's jelly little packets. I got this from a hotel that we stayed at, so I don't have to bring a jelly container, and most of the time those aren't under three ounces either. So if you don't have an ice pack that is under three ounces, another great tip is being able to freeze some of your meats. So I have frozen chicken before, so I've cooked it, frozen it, and then used it as my ice pack in a bag, which is great because you're not taking up extra room with ice pack if you don't want to. Now, another thing Alex and I do when we travel, um, and a great thing about these first of all is that they do have this back slit so you can hook it onto your luggage and set it down and this is normally our carry-on but I also just got a thinner uh, food scale that I'm able to tuck into here because it has an extra pocket as well and one quick tip about your food scale is if you don't want it turning on and off you can open it up and turn one battery upside down so you're not wasting your battery with it bumping up against things while you travel but Alex and I normally pack a go bag which is what these are, and it's filled with our supplements. So you can take all supplements with you. I've only had problems once before where the TSA has been a little bit iffy about something. I believe it was electrolytes and they were confused if it was an explosive, but they tested it and we were all good to go. It just took an extra step. But we have all of our pills labeled in little baggies. Um, there's some more peanut butter in there. As you can tell, that's a must when we travel. But I have creatine, I have protein powder. Um, I have another flavor of protein powder in here. Um, we even have oatmeal packets, which are great to travel with, uh, pre-workouts in here, and protein bars 
which are easy to travel with and great to travel with as well. Um, you can even travel, like I said, with oatmeal or something like a rice and grinds, which is going to be cream of rice. Anything powder form, it's not a liquid, you're good to travel with it. Now, if you were to make this and put it in your bag, then you couldn't take it with you. They'd probably seize it from you. Um, so just some things to keep in mind. You want it to be under three ounces. You can pack any powder that you want. I would recommend not just to have it in a baggie, but to have it in an extra baggie on top in case it explodes. But you can take your greens powder, you can take your protein, your pre-workout, absolutely anything that you need. And we've traveled with these hundreds of times and been able to rock and roll. You can even see that within this, I have some other favorites of seasoning that we use, some Lowry season salt, can't go without that, some cinnamon, great things that you can just take, fit in the bag and be good to go. So you can travel with all of your meals and be set and stay on track. You just need to follow some rules and regulations that the TSA puts in, in place. So main thing, under three ounces and a non-liquid. If it is a liquid, it has to be under three ounces. But again, if it's a non-liquid, it doesn't have to be. I didn't measure out any of these. It can be any amount as long as it's not a liquid that's under three ounces. So that's what I have for you today. I'll catch you guys later. If you find yourself traveling a lot or you're on the go, busy, can't always meal prep, or you just want to enjoy some of your favorite fast food restaurants still, I would highly suggest heading over to physiquedevelopment.com to look at any tips and tricks from us, but especially the fast food ebook that you can download for $5.